Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand space complexity of an iterative algorithm. So, the, all the concepts related to time complexity, we have taken different types of algorithms and we have found the, we have analyzed the time complexity of each and every algorithm in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, in this class, we'll try to understand the definition. We'll try to find the time complexity of iterative algorithms. Before that, we'll try to understand the definition of the space complexity. And this definition is same for both the iterative algorithms and recursive algorithms. In the next class, we'll try to understand, we'll take some examples of recursive algorithms and we'll try to find the space complexity of those recursive algorithms. So, what does the definition states is, space complexity is an amount of auxiliary and input space required by a algorithm to complete its execution so auxiliary space means that is the extra space that is needed by the algorithm to get to get to, to get the output of the given program so for that algorithm to get executed and the input space is it is the amount of space that is uh, uh, that is required by the inputs by the inputs for that algorithm so the amount of space required by that algorithm the input space required by that algorithm the combination of auxiliary space and uh, input space is what we call it as a space complexity of an algorithm for example if you take this algorithm this is a very simple algorithm which is going to sum two numbers and here we are having do we have any input space no we don't have any any uh, uh, input space so the amount of space required but we don't have any input space input space in, input space is not there and what are all the different other space that is uh, different uh, amount of space that is required so these are this is what we call it as auxiliary space so the amount of space that is required for the program to get executed in that uh, one one such kind of uh, space is uh, auxiliary space as we don't have the input space we don't have the input space and here the uh, the other space that is required is the space uh, required by this uh, variables so we will consider each variable is going to occupy one byte of space usually what happens is integers occupy four bytes of space let's assume that one byte one byte of space is taken for each variable and uh, so the amount of space required by these three variables is three bytes so it is a constant amount of space so the uh, overall space complexity of this algorithm is constant okay so it is in the order of one and similarly what is the amount of time taken sorry amount of space taken by this algorithm so by this algorithm the amount of space required is it is this input space of a of n so n elements are required and for this n we need uh, one one byte of memory one unit of memory we will consider it as unit of memory okay and for this uh, array and it is of size n you uh, it is of size n elements so it is going to take n the size of this array is n okay so and other than this we need one space for this n and one space for this i uh, one one unit of space for this i and uh, one unit of space for this uh, sum assume that all the variables are going to take uh, same unit unit amount of space so this this is the amount of space required by this algorithm uh, to get its output it is uh, n plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is n plus 3 so uh, the order of growth the uh, the order of uh, space um, space complexity of this algorithm is order of n for example for example example if we are having uh, a two dimensional array let's assume that it is uh, uh, it is p of p of uh, two dimensional array is there uh, then it is a size of n uh, n and n so what is the amount of space required so don't worry about the algorithm just try to understand that in this algorithm uh, in this program we are having a two dimensional array also so for this array to get complete its execution and this two, two dimensional array is used by the program uh, so the amount of space required by this is it is n square as we are having n uh, uh, n by n matrix it is n square plus n is for uh, this array and this array is also used in the algorithm and this is the the, the remaining uh, uh, space that is required by this algorithm is one unit of space for n and one unit of space for i and one unit of space for sum 
so the total amount of space required by this algorithm is n square plus n plus 3 and if you talk it as uh, if you consider this in the order of growth uh, in the order of uh, 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 growth of this uh, space complexity it is order of n square as we have already discussed that the uh, coefficients of the uh, sorry uh, so the lower order terms were also deleted uh, we are not going to consider and uh, uh, this is so the amount of space required by this algorithm is big O of n square okay so this is this is all about the space complexity of an iterative algorithm in our next class we'll try to understand the space complexity of an recursive algorithm hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with our friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching